and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today, as you guys already know, I will be opening up those series Redux Fantasy Packs and going over a few other things as far as the Blitz. Now, if you guys didn't know, last night the Blitz Fantasy Packs did come out. No, the Redux Blitz Fantasy Packs came out last night at about midnight. I was not home. Have someone open the packs for me. Now, the packs aren't actually open. They just bought them for me. I have them sitting there in auto open packs, as you guys can see. So, I do not know what I've gotten yet. I'm pretty excited to open them because there's quite a few players that I've wanted, right? I wanted Donald. I've wanted Kittle. I've wanted maybe Moss. I don't know if I'd keep Moss at this point because I do have Michael Irvin now. But I definitely wanted a few players that I'd probably keep. Donald and Kittle specifically, I'd probably end up keeping. Now, it all depends on prices, right? Obviously, I'm gonna take the best price. Now, if it happens to be one of those players, that's awesome. But if not, I'll sell them. But I do want quite. I need some coins going into the Christmas promo, so maybe I'll start selling some players. Maybe I don't know what the move is. If I just build my team up now, or if I wait and just sell everything and wait for Christmas for all the drops during Christmas, I really don't know what the move is just yet. It might be wait for Christmas. I really have to go ahead and see as far as what I think I'm gonna go about doing here. So I gotta see what I pull. Obviously, it could be really bad. It could be really great. Obviously, if I show you guys the, I'm gonna show you guys the auction block. The market did crash a little bit after the redux player pack so we have to anticipate that things might not be exactly the greatest price wise but i think prices have to come back up a little bit now so yeah the 90s came back up a little bit they were like in the 80k range and the 92 to 93 is what i really care about kamara and i think yeah matt, matt ryan and kamara kind of recovered a little bit julius peppers is way down gronk's way down let's see kittle kittle's at like 365 that's not horrible down's at 386 i guess the best one he could really pull is like Deion sanders or yeah, probably Dion, Dion Joe Thomas, probably the best too. From what it seems like from this point of view here. If I pulled, if I pulled Joe Thomas, I definitely wouldn't keep him though. I think I'd, I'd definitely have to sell Joe Thomas. And then as far as anyone else, probably selling most guys just to be honest. It's definitely worth it. Now guys, before we get into this video, make sure you're going below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noni bell. Come join the family. Let's see if we can get to 14k within the next week or so. Comment down below so far what your overall opinion was of the Blitz promo. And make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up, boys. Can we get 200 likes on this video? I don't usually do packs, but I'm trying to do more. I do have a bundle waiting for you guys that I will be showing you guys around the Christmas time. So smash this like button if you guys want to see that. Let's get to 200 likes. Now let's get into this video. So, like I said, I'm hoping for like a Kittle, a Donald, a Dion, a Moss, or a Joe Thomas. That's kind of what I'm hoping for here. Hopefully no low 90s. Now I do have quite a few, quite a few packs here. So I got the theme diamonds, the elite player, the gridiron, and the series redux packs. I will be saving these packs for you guys around Christmas time. Maybe a variety pack opening or just a gridiron bundle pack opening overall. Obviously, that should be pretty fun. I want to save it for Christmas cards because so, I want to pull my first LTD ever. I feel like that'll be the pack to do it. Let's get into the series redux fantasy packs. We got our first one. Let's pray, boys. No 90 overalls. And let's see what our first card is. And the first redux pull is Chris Godwin. All right, that's solid. That's a solid pull. He probably goes for at least 170. So at worst case scenario, we made a decent coin there. I always liked this Chris Godwin card too, but I can't really see how it would be useful on my team anymore. It was solid when it first came out, and you can't power him up, which kind of sucks. All right, let's hit it from the back. Second one is a Julius Peppers. Now, that would have been exciting any other time if it wasn't for the fact that this also happens to be uh, really cheap right now. Solid card, though. Never, I've never personally been a fan of it, but definitely a solid card. So... What's the move here? Cause you gotta see. I mean, I can't imagine the next one would be much better, but it could be. Please don't be a low 90. Who do we get? We get George Kittle. Okay, we got George Kittle. That is one of the ones that I did want, and I know he goes for the most, so we're probably gonna be taking George Kittle here. Now, guys, show you guys real quick. I did actually pick him up last night, but I picked up these Donalds and Kittle just as a, as like an investment because everything was cheap from the crash. I'll probably end up selling them back, and maybe I'll just keep this one, or vice versa. I'll sell this one, keep that one now. I do have two Kittles now. So, solid. That's one of the best pulls you can get. Okay, so Kittle is one of the best Redux pulls. Definitely a solid pull. So the first one's a dub. So it is this, 10 bucks for 10 bucks, 400K, half a million coins just about. Definitely a solid pull. I'm not gonna sell it shit. I'll probably wait a little bit so the market settles itself a little bit. Give it like a day or two. Definitely solid. I really love this Kittle card. It's got high speed, high catching, decent spec, decent route running, and good run blocking. And on my team with all the Madden passing crap that I have, Definitely going to be an awesome card. So let's take that card. Solid pull. Definitely needed those coins. Been low on coins lately. Now let's go to the next one. All right. Do not give me a low. I didn't see a single low 90 there. No 90s. 91, 92s. And Kittle's 92, right? So that, that was a good one. 
We'll, we'll give him that. That was a good one. Yay. Bless this last pack. We need at least 2 million coins going to the blitz, so we definitely need another banger pull. Give me Deion Sanders. Give me Randy Moss. Give me some heat. All right, let's get into the first one. What do we get here? What's the first card? For I wish there was a difference in animations. The first one we get is a 91 Jan. Jan. It's a 91 Jan. I feel like that could be solid. Is he better than my kicker? Do I keep this? If it's the same price as Tucker, do I keep him? I don't know. What's the kick power is slightly better? The kick where actually is not as good. I don't know. This is a tough one. You guys let me know down below. What do you think is better? I do love my Justin Tucker though. I guess it depends on the price, obviously. That'll kind of be the determining factor in what I do here. I haven't seen this card though. I know this card was rare at one point, so this isn't too bad. Team is on the Chiefs. Jen. I don't have to say his name, guys. So if you guys don't kill me in the bottom in the comment section for that. Okay, okay, so. Let's hit it from the back. Next card we get. Dan Deodorf. Okay. I could be wrong, but I think Dan Deodorf's a solid pull. Another solid right tackle. Hold up. Is he better than Lane Johnson? If he's better than Lane Johnson, I'll probably power up him. Better pass blocker. Slightly worse run blocker. Much of speed. I guess speed's gonna I guess speed's important, right? Should I factor in speed? The speed's almost no. I gotta factor in speed, right? Lane Johnson's speed is definitely, definitely better. Ooh, that could be a suck. Okay, let's, let's get to the middle pull. And the middle pull is come on, give me, give me Dion, give me Moss. Patrick Willis. Wow, I'm impressed that I didn't get a single. One of those Philip Rivers, Devonta Adams. Let's go check the auction block real quick and see what we should be taking here because that's honestly one of the best things they did was added so that you can back out of the pack because it used to really suck when you didn't know what was better. So let's go. Let's go to... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's filter by series redux. And let's go to kicker first. Let's see what that Jan guy goes for. 158. Okay, that's solid. Not bad, not bad. Not not the best, but not, not, not the worst. Right tackle. Dan Deodorf 167, really? Really? Alright, I'll probably hold on to whoever I end up taking anyways. And middle linebacker. Okay, so it's looking like Patrick Willis is the best price right now. So, do I take Deodorf? Pat Willis. Hmm. Tough one. Theodore for Pat Willis. Comment down below, guys, what you guys think I should take. I'm going to hold that pack for now until I officially know. Until I officially, officially know what's the best price to take. Because I do not want to waste. I do not want to waste any coins, any coins on the table. I'm going to wait till the price come back up a little bit, and I'll take the card accordingly when I see the price is up. I think that's a good move. I'm going to show you guys the series redux prices real quick, because I know you guys are probably wondering how everything ended up folding out. So I think I got one of the best pulls, quite honestly. Getting Kittle, I think Kittle's the top two, top three pull on the, the, the Redux cards. Let's go check this out. Uh, Gronk is crazy cheap, Vic's crazy cheap. Yeah, Kittle's one of the best ones. The only ones that beat Kittle are, I mean, let's see, what is he in line with? So the, the top, the only cards that go for above 400k are Donald and Dion and Joe Thomas, I believe. Not even, no. Donald and Dion. So the only one's better than 400k, which I got the 300k one. One of the best pulls. So that's, that's crazy. I'll take that. So that means that if I sell them for about, if I wait like a week and sell them for like 400k, I could probably end up getting, let's see, about 600k total from him and maybe whatever other card I take out of that pack. Solid packs right there. Gonna take that all day of the week. Now, if these prices going up, maybe it's time I should sell Donald and Kittle. They are definitely going up. And guys, real quick advice. I think that Christian McCaffrey's gonna be getting a crazy card soon, specifically maybe a Christmas card. So it wouldn't be the worst idea to go pick up a McCaffrey. I mean, maybe you wanna wait for his price coming out even a little bit more. That's possible, but definitely not the worst value to pick up Christian McCaffrey pretty soon. I definitely want him. The only issues with the NFL 100 running backs, I kind of get concerned over, you know, how much better can they really make a running back at this point in the game? I don't know if they'll even be able to do that at the time being. So if they happen to make another better running back like Christian McCaffrey, that'd be awesome. But I feel like it'll be very similar to these running backs. And I feel like these running backs are already ahead of their game. At least I, I think so, right? Could be wrong, but that's how kind of how kind of my opinion here, how I'm feeling. The NFL 100 players are still pretty expensive. I'll wait for these guys to come down before I go to pick up any. 
kind of the game plan here. I definitely, I mean, the only ones I really want from here too are Lawrence Taylor and Reggie Wayne. Reggie White, damn it. I can't get that right. Reggie White and Lawrence Taylor are the two guys I really want from here. That's about it. So guys, this is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hopefully that was entertaining for you guys. You saw who I pulled. Fun, fun, fun. Glad we got to open some packs. Uh, Blitz gave us sort of an excuse to open some packs. I never really do. But that's about it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on you up, boys. Come join the family. Let's see if we can get to 14K as soon as possible. Comment down below what you think of this promo and the pen returns. I gotta move that from here. Make sure to smash the like button. Can we get over 200 likes on this video, guys? That'd be greatly appreciated. And that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.